Yeah.
家人，家人是，家人是你当三之一。
and you don't mind being different. You're not swayed by the crowd. You don't go by what the crowd goes by. You go by what you feel is right in your mind, in your heart, and in your spirit. And God said that I put that in you because you are a leader of leaders. Is what I heard the Lord say. The Shonda Brand. So let me prophesy to you. Um, the first thing I heard the Lord say for you, the shock of rant, is that promotion is in motion. And then the next thing I heard the Lord say is that rivers of living water is going to flow out of your belly. So I heard the Lord say that the prophetic prophecy is in you. Prophecy is in your mouth. And I see that you're going to speak words. And it's straight from heaven into people's lives. I see you being crowned with the word of knowledge and the word of wisdom. And God speaking to you, you being God's designated mouthpiece in this time and in this hour. And that's why I tell rivers of living water, the word of God flowing through you, out of you, out of your spirit. The word of God, the word of wisdom, the word of knowledge flowing out of your mouth from your belly, flowing out. And that's what I heard the Lord say. So get ready, get ready. And I see you dreaming too. I see you dreaming. You need to write your dreams down and have them interpreted. Because God's going to continue to speak to you in dreams and reveal things and symbols to your dream. Just like Joseph. When Joseph in the Bible, he dreamed, God told him what was to come of the symbols through his dreams. And I hear the Lord say, he's going to speak to you through symbols in your dream of what's to come. He's going to reveal some secrets of what's to come in your life and, and what's going to come for the life of others. And also, there's some secrets God's going to share with you through your dreams as it relates to this nation. That's what the Lord saying. Clark, let me prophesy to you. The first thing I heard the Lord say that God has not forgotten you. I hear the Lord say, God is going to fight your battles and all things work together for the good to them that love the Lord, to them that are called according to his purpose. This valley, this storm, this situation that you're going through right now, it's going to work in your favor. And I hear the Lord say, don't be moved and don't be shaken by what you see the enemy doing. It's like you've been dealing with people who talk. But how many of you know that spirits and demons will speak through people? Can I get some help? Spirits and demons will speak through people. Here, for example, let me break it down. Have you ever been in a conversation with somebody and all of a sudden they said something to you and it just hit your spirit the wrong way? It just and it's not necessarily that you didn't like what they said, but what they said, it was almost like it's not even them speaking, but it's a spirit talking through them. How many of you know that the enemy can use anybody? Amen? That's why we have to yield ourselves to the spirit and not to the flesh, so we can, we can be mouthpieces of the Holy Ghost and of God and not be mouthpieces of the devil. Y'all ain't trying to help me today. But back to Andrew Clark. You have to look at speaking spirits. People around you like saying stuff. And I think the Lord say, guard your spirit and guard your heart. And watch God fight for you. And I think the Lord say, it's nothing that you did wrong. You didn't do anything wrong in this season. Keep standing strong and God's going to fight this battle for you. And you're going to start to recognize and discern when spirits are speaking because you're going to stop seeing that person in that moment and instead of seeing that person you're going to see the devil speaking through them and I hear the Lord say he's going to heighten your discernment so you can continue to have peace in your mind and in your heart is what I hear the Lord say prophetess apostle Lisa James let me prophesy to you um, what I heard the Lord say to you woman of God is that they're going to be um, virtual 
and TV opportunities that horizon you that you have not yet walked into. And I hear the Lord say, God's going to tell you which engagements to take and which engagement not to take. He's like, because I, I see some people that are going to like try to come to you, but they're going to have like ulterior motives. They're going to want you to do and come on the network for like ulterior re reasons, like to raise money and to do different things. But God's going to give you a check in your spirit. You're going to know what doors to go through and what doors not to go through. And I hear the Lord say, this is a season to keep things um, close. Uh, there's certain things that God's going to tell you to do and say um, and operate, and everybody's not going to understand it, and it's not for everybody to know about. So the Lord's going to show you what things you can share and what other things you need to keep before Him. Because somebody, sometimes we have, how many know that there's people that will try to sabotage your blessing? When they see the favor and the blessing of God over your life, um, instead of Celebrating you, they want to be you, and they're jealous, and they will, they will begin to try to sabotage and block your nets. But um, Lisa or James, I heard the Lord say that no other that's been born against you shall prosper. I, I hear the Lord say, move in secret in this season. There's going to be some things that you move in secret with, and by the time God gets you to where you need to go, it's like they're going to be gone, and it's, people will be like, "What happened?" It's like, and you're just going to be on international stages and you're going to be on international virtual stages because of the word in your mouth. As a matter of fact, I hear the Spirit of the Lord say, I see a dream college out of you. I don't even know if you're already doing that, but I see a dream college, a dream interpretation college that's coming from the inside of you. Um, and it's like, I hear the Lord say, what the Lord has said, told me, said, you're going to birth many dream masters. In other words, you're going to birth people who are skilled and equipped according to the scriptures to interpret dreams. That's what I heard the Lord say for you. Sam, Worley. This is what I heard for you, Sam. God wants you to pray more. And I'm not saying or suggesting that you don't already pray or that you're not close to God. So that's not what I'm saying. But God is saying the more you pray, the more you ask, the more he's going to do. It's like, this is what I see. I see it in a spirit realm, a treasure chest, chest, a treasure chest of many blames, things, and miracles that God wants to give to you. And I hear the Lord say, it's connected to your prayer. And I hear the Lord say, there's going to be times he wakes you up, like in the middle of the night, like around 2, 3, 4 in the morning, to pray and intercede for different people because God's calling you to a, a higher dimension of intercession. And through this intercession, I hear the Lord say that this intercession is going to unlock doors for others. It's going to unlock doors of victory, unlock doors of deliverance for others. And I hear the Lord say, as you unlock doors for others in the square world through your intercession, you're going to begin to unlock doors and favors and miracles for yourself in your house. So I hear the Lord say, get ready to go up in intercession. There's going to be some things. It's like the Lord's telling me you're going to have to go to war in the spirit as you pray for certain things and back off the dark forces of the enemy through your prayer. How many know that your prayer in life, your prayer is a weapon of mass destruction? You know, instead of complaining, instead of us complaining, we can pray and take it to God and watch the results. Because God, I know that God is a miracle worker. And I've seen miracles in my life because of the prayers that I pray, not just for myself, but for others. And God responds in prayer. And you know what? I'm going to tell y'all this too. This is another nugget too. I'm going to tell you what's very powerful. When you pray back the word of God back to God, he responds to that. Because at the end of the day, he's not obligated to re respond to our prayers, but he is obligated to respond to his word because he's not a God that he should lie. I dare you, people of God, make yourself a list. Make a list of the petitions and the requests that you want God to do. And then when you do, once you do that, put the word of God on it. Find scriptures that align with the things on your list and watch God work miracles in your life. When you pray the word of God, Pray the word of God over your request. I'm telling y'all, 
you guys will get results and miracles. As long as you pray the will of God, because we want God's will to be done. Amen? Because, you know, because you came like, oh, God, I just pray that God, you just bring my credit score up. Well, you know, God is a God of practical steps and principles. And certain things, the Bible says, faith without works is dead. We have to put some work behind certain things. Amen? You can say, God, boost my credit score. Well, what are you doing to boost your credit score in the natural realm? Amen? Because sometimes we want miracles, but we don't want to do the work that we need to do for God to honor our request. You want a better credit score, just start working on your credit. Start paying stuff on time if you can. You know? Start getting a plan. Write the vision and make it plain. Get a plan of action. Amen. All right. I didn't mean to go off like that. But um, Sam, that's what God is saying. He's taking you to the next realm and the next dimension of intercession. And you're going to see much fruit and miracles through your prayers. Lori Williams, let me prophesy to you. I hear the Lord say, you are going to live to see your dreams come true. God's not forgotten about your request. And it's like, I think it was, he's giving you some strategic steps and some strategic plans. And I think the Lord say, in this season, you're not going to be able to take everybody with you. You're not going to be able to take everybody with you in this season. It's going to be a very select group of people because I think the Lord say, you're just ascending. You're going up, 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 up. Not everybody understands it. It's like I heard say, some folks might think you're trying to be mean, but you're not being mean. This is just a season of no nonsense for you. You are a no nonsense woman. God's taking you up higher. God is showing you some things. And I just heard the Lord say, your heart's desire. There's some things that you need God to do. And I just heard God say, it will come to pass. It will come to pass. It will come to pass. There's some things you've been fasting and praying and asking the Lord to do for you and consecrating. It will come to pass. It will come to pass according to his will.
There are thousands of people that you are called and anointed to reach. There are thousands of people that are called to the tribe of your tribe that you're called to reach. So I hear the Lord say, yield to the process. And it's like, there's in this process, even in the last couple of months, there's been a peeling away, a peeling away of old mentality, a peeling away of old habits. There's been a peeling away. And I hear the Lord say, with this peeling away, it's like he's anointing you. It's like I see, like you're pouring this oil over your head. And there's a fresh anointing that's coming through this peeling away and this dying away. It's like you've just been, you've been healing your business. You've been doing what God's been telling you to do. And you've been peeling the layers back. And you've been taking this time very seriously to do the will of God and for the will of God to take place in your life. Keep going through the process because there's a will in the middle of the world. There's a process inside of the process. Somebody else's process is locked up into you completing your process. So keep going forward. Keep moving forward. Keep doing what you're doing. And I hear the Lord say, guard your heart in this season too. Changing my life. Changing my life. I don't know who you are. Changing my life. But let me prophesy to you. Changing my life. I hear the Lord say, changing my life, that God is going to give you the answers you've been looking for. God is going to give you the clarity that you've been asking for, the strategy that you've been asking for, the answers that you've been asking for. God is doing, I hear the Lord say, God, behold, God is doing a new thing through and inside of you. I hear the Lord say, changing my life, Whoever you are, stop worrying about stuff beyond your control. Trust God, leave, give it to Him, and He's got it. And I hear the Lord say, Change my life, that God is going to continue to provide for you and meet your needs. Things that God has promised you. 
um, the link, and, and you can register for that. Um, also, I'm going to also be doing um, prophetic, personal prophetic prescriptions. Many of you guys call, call me and ask me for these, where you want the, the mind of God, and not just knowing the mind of God, but even the practical steps to deal with maybe your marriage, um, to deal with your life, your situation, your business. Um, and I'm calling these prophetic prescriptions. My name is Prophetic Prescriptions. Well, I will specifically prescribe the answer and the, the solutions and the antidote to your situations. Amen. So you can take advantage of that as well. And I think that's it. I think that's all the wonderful things that's happening. So um, if you've been blessed, if you want to be a blessing, my gosh, app is in the comments. I love y'all so much. I've got so much exciting things that are coming and um, I appreciate all this love and support that you guys have given me and how you guys push me and motivate me to do this and thank y'all for being faithful. Um, we're going to be expanding and I just ask that y'all to keep me in prayer. I love y'all so much. This is Stephanie here with my name, Anna. See y'all next Monday. God bless. Love y'all.